Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to move Android's quick settings menu to the bottom of the screen. Now phones keep getting bigger and bigger, but some of Android's UI elements still seem like they were designed for smaller screens, like the quick settings menu. To open it, you have to reach all the way up to the top edge of your phone, and that's not always possible for one-handed use. On the bright side, this is Android we're talking about, so there's always a way to fix little things like that. Developer Tom Bailey has an app called Bottom Quick Settings that replicates stock Android's quick settings menu and overlays it on the screen when you swipe up from the bottom. This makes it super easy to access with your thumb, but let me explain a couple of caveats first. For one thing, this doesn't move your existing quick settings menu. It just makes a new one show up when you swipe up from the bottom. For another thing, some of the buttons in it will just take you to the relevant settings menu by default. If you want them to actually behave like toggles, you'll need to send an ADB command to give the app elevated privileges. If you're okay with those limitations though, it's a really cool app that's definitely worth checking out. First, you'll need to install bottom quick settings. You can find it on the Play Store, or you can use the link in the description below. Just make sure to get the one by developer Tom Bailey. When you first launch the app, you'll get this handy setup wizard. Basically, just swipe left or tap the forward arrow here. Now you'll see three toggles. These are special permissions the app needs to be granted in order to work. All of these permission requests are on the up and up. Nothing shady is going on here. So tap each toggle one by one, then you'll be taken to a system settings screen. For this first one, most users will just have to select bottom quick settings from the list. But if you're on a Samsung phone like me, you'll have to tap installed services, then select it from the list. From there, just enable the toggle to grant the permission, then press OK or allow on any pop-up you may see. Once you've done that, hit your back button two or three times to go back to the app, then tap the next toggle. This one's simpler, just enable the toggle, then hit your back button. Same deal for the last one. Just tap it on the setup screen, then enable the toggle in your settings menu, then head back to the app. Now you're at the end of the setup wizard. Tap the check mark to move forward, then you'll get a series of overlays highlighting specific options. As it said, there are two main things you need to be aware of in here. First, if you want to use the bottom quick settings, make sure the switch at the top of the main menu is turned on. Once you do that, you'll see a little drag handle at the bottom of your screen. This is where you swipe up from to access the bottom quick settings menu. But, let's say you're using navigation gestures. With a lot of phones, swiping up from this location is how you go home, so that would interfere with your ability to open quick settings. In that case, you can head to this handle menu, then choose handle position, and select either left or right. Once you do, you'll notice the blue area moves from the bottom to the side edge. This is a little confusing, so to be clear, you still need to swipe up from anywhere in this area to access the menu, not sideways. While you're in here, you'll also notice that you can change the handle width and height, which is basically the trigger area and sensitivity for the upward swipe that opens the bottom quick settings menu. But other than that, the only other options I want to bring to your attention here are the colors and notifications menus. These are both paid features, but they're definitely worth considering. Once unlocked, colors let you theme the bottom quick settings menu, and I know that's a big deal for a lot of folks. But maybe even more important is the notifications menu. If you unlock this for $249, you'd actually get notifications in your bottom quick settings panel, so it would be a full-fledged replacement for the one up top. All that said, let's take a second to check this thing out. Now it's got the same look and feel as stock Android Pie, but everything's just upside down. You swipe up once and you get the condensed menu where you see all the toggles, but you also see these connectivity indicators, the battery level, and the date and time. Then if you swipe up again, it expands to the full quick settings menu. Here you'll get text labels for the toggles, a quick link to the settings app, and of course, the brightness slider. But like I said, several of these toggles can only open the respective settings menu, not actually toggle the feature. So like Wi-Fi, it just takes you to the Wi-Fi menu and settings by default. If you want to fix this, you just have to send a single ADB command to give the app an extra permission. That may sound intimidating, but we covered the whole process in detail at the full tutorial on Gadget X, so be sure to check that out. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.